Hey guys, what's up? Pase Boric here. Uh, we have a lot of games today, so let's uh, kick things off by talking about this game, New York Knicks, with the record of 30 wins and 42 losses, visiting Charlotte Hornets with the record of 37 and 35. The game will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, Eastern Conference standings first before we uh, talk about this game. Uh, starting with Charlotte Hornets, they are at number 9. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have won 7. Uh, so they are actually doing great. And not only that, approaching this game, the Hornets, uh, they have been winning 5 games straight. For the New York Knicks, they are at number 12, uh, you know, trying to... Uh, Trying to get into the number ten spot, uh, they had a perfect um, they had a perfect chance yesterday to improve their chances against Atlanta Hawks, man. But uh, they actually they actually got uh, blown towards the last two minutes of the game. Um, I thought really that the New York Knicks had it, but uh, you know uh, Trey Young was just on fire. Uh, for the Knicks, for their last ten games, they have uh, won five, so they're actually doing decent. Uh, but approaching this game, the Knicks have lost back to back. Right, so Charlotte Hornets, they would be uh, the one who would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, they also have the advantage because, uh, again, they have won uh, 7 out of their last 10 and they have been on a 5-game winning streak. In terms of fatigue, that's kind of obvious. Charlotte Hornets would also have the advantage because the Knicks, uh, they just played last night while the Hornets are well rested. Right, so I'm checking on the injury list for both teams. Starting with New York Knicks, Julius Randle is now at a day-to-day game-time decision, um, while Nerlens Noel, Derrick Rose, and Cam Reddish are listed out. So three players are out, possibly four, depending on Julius Randle's situation. And for Charlotte Hornets, well, they only have one player here, and that's uh, Gordon Hayward. He is still out because of his ankle problems or ankle injuries. I'm looking at the spread now. It actually opened with uh, Charlotte Hornets with minus 2 on it. But as we speak, it is now at minus 7. Well, obviously, uh, the Charlotte Hornets have a lot of advantages uh, with this game. You know, the home court, fatigue, uh, the momentum. And yes, highly likely, I'm actually looking at this one as Charlotte Hornets winning the game. They are actually on fire, man. Five game winning streak. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking at Hornets possibly making it six. You know, six games straight. But uh, the, the the spread is what I'm worried about. Um, seven points. That's just. I guess that's just too big. Um, especially Julius Randle, uh, is now on game time decision. Um, so there's a chance that Randle will be playing. But regardless whether Randle will will be playing or not, I guess the New York Knicks would still be playing with pride and all that. And um, with the Hornets' style of play, which is more on offense, uh, not really on defense, but uh, you know, great in defense, the Knicks have a chance to at least make it close or to at least cover the spread of seven points. Seven points is just too big for me, man. Um, at, in the beginning, I thought it was minus two because that's how it started. Uh, if that's the case, no doubt I'm going to go with Charlotte Hornets. But now, since it, since it is at minus seven, I'm going to go with New York Knicks plus seven. Right, so my pick, Knicks, plus seven. Peace out, pasa love, and God bless.